What's your evaluation of Trey Lance? Let's just jump right in with both feet. What do you got for me? Yeah, it's obviously unknown, right? I think the discouraging, discouraging thing, Rich, is twofold. One, you know, he's 23 years old right now, and I would sit here and say, like, those are really paramount years from that age of like 17 to 23 to 24 ish of growth and development quarterback wise. I think they're very important, and it gives you such an important foundation to what you can become at that spot, both physically and mechanically and, you know, football intelligence wise. And he's missed so much football time during that like six or seven year period. And I think the second thing is while he's missed that, and that's an unfortunate reality for him, like even the moment that he has been on the field, there's still not much, if any, like development or growth. You know, the throwing motion is still long. The back leg, I remember when he was coming out of the draft, Rich, I did this, you know, this breakdown of his back leg when he gets to the top of his drop and how it's it's basically straight and instead of being, like, flexed and then almost like if you're thinking a boxer, uh, you know, a, a position of power off of the ground. That's still there, you know, still, you know, holding on to the football and waiting for guys to get open instead of anticipating for them to get open and, I mean, not seeing defenders, you know, the way that you would hope you would see when it comes to certain coverages. So, yeah, uh, it, it's it, there's this kind of this multitude of of stuff that you sit there and go, hasn't played a ton, and when he has, there hasn't been much growth or development. So clearly, um, you know, the the third rail question I'm going to ask you is: Is this Kyle Shanahan's fault that everything you just say, mechanics wise, and um, instinct wise has not been uh, improved uh, over the last couple of years or injuries have created the issue for him or he just can't like what's the third rail answer here yeah it, it's probably a little bit it, it's probably more so can't and the injury you, you know like it, it, there's only so much that we could pin on Kyle like Kyle's responsibility isn't strictly the quarterback uh, rich I'll go back to a man like I was one of those people that was dead set on being Mac Jones. I, I I never kind of saw that this was the ideal marriage between coach and then quarterback. Uh, and also, even when he was the guy, and brief period of last year, Kyle didn't use him the way that I thought. Okay, maybe Kyle's gonna he's gonna go back to the RG three type of offense and utilize him as a real big time running back. That didn't show itself much. So. Now, who's to blame? You know, it's always these are always tough conversations because you hear about the young man and everyone raves about the human. Mm-hmm. And um, but but that doesn't mean that everyone's meant to be a legit superstar franchise starting quarterback in the NFL. So it's probably more so maybe he's just not that person and the injuries. We'll see if, if I'm wrong on being that person. Well, again, if 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 Shanahan is the quarterback whisperer and the guy who can develop him best, then maybe um, Lance just showed his humanity uh, by by forcing his way out or saying, I want to leave, because how's he going to get any of the reps that's required in Dallas, right? I mean, like Cooper Rush, you could make the argument, is the best quarterback, backup quarterback in the league. Dan. No, that's that's kind of the, the interesting aspect of, well, if you're Dallas, they're not giving up a fourth-round pick for him. For nothing, you know, you, you know, you're you're giving up a fourth round pick in hopes that this young man gets on the field somehow, some way, and provides value to your organization, while also hoping that he doesn't play because Dak plays so well and, and is so healthy. So, um, I think for for Trey, it was you know, he had to get out of San Francisco because he wasn't going to play practice there. Maybe this. You know, maybe Dallas doesn't view Cooper Rush the same way that uh, other people do. You know, maybe we're looking through at Cooper Rush to the advantage of how kind of risk averse he was last year and how well the play the defense played in his four starts. But um, it, it, at least it gives him a fresh start and, and a new build with new people to put their own uh, daily daily opinion upon what type of player he is or could be. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.